and we're back at Gearhead Garage. And welcome back to the channel, by the way. If you're new, I'm Brad, I go by the Whalen, and this is my vlog on Truck Venture. Why are we back here? Well, the last time we were here, we did the brakes, and we also added a leaf into my rear leaf springs. And uh, that's why we're back, because when we went and tested out my new suspension this last weekend or weekend before uh, in Deschutes National Forest, uh, everything looked great, it was fine, it drove amazing off-road, the front held up fantastic, except on the way home I noticed the alignment was a little weird. So I took it to the alignment shop, they checked it out, said the front's fine, except my back end got a little wonky on me because we lost some bolts that were in the leaf pack, sandwiching that leaf together, causing the rear leaf to go a little wampus. So uh, basically what we're doing now is replacing all the hardware retightening those leaf packs down so they're good to go. And while we're at it, I got some new shackles from Camberg Racing. So we're gonna add those in too. So let's get into the shop, do all the repairs we need to do, and then we'll be on the road. We are back on a lift. So here's the problem. Uh, we somehow, lost the bolts that were sandwiching this leaf pack together, causing it to go a little crazy. One of them's missing on the other side too. I got all new hardware. We're taking these all off. We are going to retighten these down off the truck, make sure they're 100%. And then while I'm at it, we got new shackles that we're gonna put in the back as well. Um, and that is the mod for today. And hopefully doing all that will prevent any more destruction in the future. But you know what? When you have an off-road vehicle and you use it, well, things happen. Hey Nick, what's your confidence level on this repair? Meh, that'll work. Oh, that makes me feel great. You'll be fine. Come on, there we go. Move. Come on, buddy. Hi, buddy. Yes. Say hi to the nice people of YouTube, Moose. Yeah. You look handsome today, buddy. I want to bring to the world's attention a new level of organization never seen before by Nick Bell. Labeling parts and sides and everything. Usually they just end up in a pile somewhere and he figures it out. Now that we've lowered the shackle enough, I can pound the bolt out that way. And it literally is just touching. I mean, we're clearing by millimeters. But if we go any higher, we're gonna hit the other bits and stop. Engaging safety eye squints. Safety squint! Heavy. All right, first leaf pack is out. And what we are replacing today is that guy right there. As you can see, we didn't even have matching bolts in there because we didn't have anything long enough. This should have been done a long time ago. It wasn't. That's our fault. Just to make sure these never are a problem again, our good friend Loctite, specifically Loctite Red. So now that we've got everything lined up and I know they won't be a problem anymore, one at a time I'm gonna take the bolts loose, a couple of drops of Loctite Red, they go back together, they won't be a problem for me anymore. Yes, excellent. Go for it. Okay, we've got ourselves some nice, just beefy bolts in there again. Uh, prior, these bolts were, they were too short. Bolts wouldn't fit around them. We uh, 
ran it that way and paid the price, so now we've got it all back together and all straightened out. And look at that, new shackle. Super fun, awesome. And this is all greased up too. We greased the bottom part here and then the top part as well. So, should be good. Thumbs up, yeah. Now, we just have to do the other side. Oh boy. It is now feeding time at the zoo and Nick shovels leafy greens into his mouth hole. This giant industrial fan has been going on all day long because, you know, it's over 100 degrees here in Portland right now and this shop does not have air conditioning. Uh, so yeah, this uh, vlog might be uh, windy sounding noisy. Sorry about that. Just so you know. Along with fixing all of our damaged leaf springs, we're putting in new shackles. Fully welded steel shackles. Those are beefcake. So if you look at the original metal, yes, it is welded. Actually, this is all a bent piece. And this is wrapped and there's one weld on the entire thing. It's actually one piece of metal otherwise. Pretty clever. But you can actually bend these just by putting a set of vice grips on them. So what they did is they went ahead and box welded the whole thing and added a reinforcement plate on the outside. Polyurethane bushings and a nice gray powder coat. All the good stuff. So we're going to be replacing the factory shackle with that. The links are the same and should actually sit like this. Yes, everything does line up and the links are the same. And although it looks smaller, that's actually just because they didn't need as much side material to get the same job done. The only hardware addition for this build was purchasing these bolts, four of them, and it was six bucks. Six dollars to fix this problem. And you know, next time. Which is burritos, as always. Or burgers, depending on the day. All right, now that uh, we're actually back on the ground again, put the tires on, we just hand tightened them. Torque the lug nuts to 104 foot-pounds, is what we decided on. So, perfect torque on those. Then the U-bolts that hold the axle to the springs, 145 foot-pounds. And then the shackle bolts are, I have to double check, but it should be 98. And the front uh, spring bolt should be 121. Bolts. <coughs> All right, there those guys are in now. We're just getting everything <coughs> tightened up. There's the new <coughs> rear shackle back there. Where's those crackers? And uh, yeah, Nick's having a good old time tightening up these bolts to the specification rating on the bottom. All right, one go. Okay, we are about done here at Gearhead Garage. We got all the right bolts in. We cinched everything down to the appropriate torque. We've got everything back in alignment. So it's super awesome, good feeling. Now I get to go play with it off road again. So stay tuned for more adventure vlogs. And uh, if you like this content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you.